For centuries, trenches for many people have been a nightmare come true. Especially for people who suffer from arachnophobia. In this video, I will help you understand these amazing animals and hope to turn fear into fascination. Tarantulas are legendary. The earliest known spider fossil, Atacupus, lived 380 million years ago. Part of what makes tarantulas such awesome creatures are all the different size and colours there are. Tarantulas are one of the most popular of the non-traditional pets. Keeping a tarantula gives you the opportunity to learn and understand something that literally is a living, prehistoric creature. Tarantulas are in the class Arachnidia, which also include ticks, mites, harvestmen, scorpions, and other arachnids. All spiders come from the order Arania. The suborder Myagalamorphae. These include the funnel webs, trapdoors, purse web spiders. And finally, the trench of the family, the Ferrophosidae. Other than sheer size, trenches are set apart from other spiders known as true spiders, like the ones you see in your bathtub or in the shed or the orb weaving spiders you see in your garden. Some other characteristics include trenches have downward pointing fangs, whereas true spiders have sideway pincher like fangs. Also trenches have two claws and adhesive pads on each foot. Another is all trenches have eight eyes. True spiders can vary from 8 eyes to 6 eyes, to as little as 2 and even none. In both cases, females live longer than males, but true spiders only live a couple of years, some just seasonal. Female tarantulas can live from 12 to 30 plus years, depending on the species. Tarantula's bad and fearful reputation started way back in the Middle Ages. It began in southern Europe with a large true spider called a Lycosa tarantula, a species of wolf spider. Back then, this spider was thought to be dangerously venomous. The spider was from the city of Taranto in northern Italy. This is where the name tarantula was first described. A popular dance called the Tarantella was supposed to cure the effects of the spider's bite. 
Some people would even use the spider bites as an excuse to do the wild Tarantella dance, as at the time, the dance was frowned upon by the church. The memory of this big bad wolf spider was brought to the Americas by the Europeans, but the name Trenchla was already applied by a totally different type of spider. John Steadman, a British adventurer and mercenary, was travelling in Suriname in South America. It was in the 1970s during a five year expedition on his travels, Steadman was shown a massive dark brown hairy spider in a bottle with a leg span of well over 8 inches. Based on where it was and the description, it was probably a Goliath bird eating spider. The Theraposa Blondie. Steadman noted the spider was misnamed Tarantula by the locals. There was some arguing over what popular name to use for a Theraphoside spider. Other alternatives included Tarantulas, Bird Eating Spider, Monkey Spider, Baboon Spider. Most of the argument was over the fact that the name Tarantula was first applied to a wolf spider. Wolf spiders are not closely related to tarantulas we call today, but the Lycosa tarantula does have slight resemblance as it is big and digs burrows like many tarantulas. The name Tranchula is now accepted as applying to the big, hairy ferrophocytes we find so fascinating. There are over 800 tranchula species in the world, and we are still discovering new ones. A large portion of these are available in the hobby, many of which are endangered in the wild, and is why this hobby is so important. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. I hope you can take something away from this. As always, thank you for watching and remember, like, comment and subscribe.